Hey folks, the batteries and my solar power system out in the shed finally gave up. Ah, they worked great for five years, but now I'm doing some research to replace them. Found out some things I think you might need to know, so hang on. Orlando Prepper coming at you again. Like I said, I'm having to replace some batteries, so you guys know me. I'm doing some research. Did a lot of it today. Still kind of torn. I'm absolutely going with lithium, but I'm not sure which one to go with. Now, the batteries I had were the old Thunderbolt 12-volt, uh, 35-amp glass mat bat batteries that you get at Harbor Freight. They worked great for a lot of years, almost six years. And I'd cycled them out a lot, running power tools and lights, and, you know, things like that out there. But they finally gave up, so I got to put them to rest. By doing this lithium battery research today, I found out there are two kinds. Uh, I'm not just talking about, I'm talking about the systems themselves. You got some batteries with uh, a battery management system, a BMS, some that don't have that. The ones with the BMS built in, it's basically a little computer chip or a, a little uh, computer board with chips in it that may be susceptible to an EMP or a CME. What I'm thinking about doing is going with those because that, that uh, charging on that battery is so much safer than on the battery, lithium batteries without the BMS. If, they, if it does have the BMS, what you need to do is put some EMP protection somewhere in that system and make sure that uh, the batteries are contained in pretty much uh, a Faraday cage itself. Because an EMP hit could take them out. If they're just sitting somewhere like out in the open and that little computer chip is in the, each one of those batteries, the EMP shield might protect them if you put it somewhere between uh, your panels and your batteries. Also, you need a top-notch charge controller. You can't go with anything cheap, especially if you have the batteries without the battery management system built in. If it doesn't have those, those batteries are susceptible to overheating. They could possibly overcharge if you don't have a trustworthy charge controller. And that would create a fire hazard. Haven't made my mind up yet which way I'm going to go. But as soon as I do, I'll let you know. But that's the two different kinds of lithium batteries. I know there's uh, different kinds of lithium batteries. But all of them either have a BMS system or they don't. It's up to you to make that choice. If it doesn't have one, it'll be basically like a lead acid battery or a glass mat battery. An EMP will not affect it. So that's just something you folks need to think about. As soon as I make my mind up, I'll let you know. I'll build my system. And I'll be glad to show it to you. Share this with your friends if they're thinking about building a solar power system. Might help them out. If you do, I'd appreciate it. And if you'd give me a thumbs up, I'd be very grateful. So with that, I'm going to say stay strong, keep prepping, and pray for the United States. The Orlando Prepper is out.